23 years ago today, before most of us had ever heard of Al-Qaeda, two terrorists steered a small boat full of explosives into the side of the U.S. Navy destroyer USS Cole. The explosion killed 17 American sailors and injured 37 more, and it left a Harrison County woman mourning the loss of her son. Tonight, she is still waiting for the accused mastermind of the attack to go on trial. Every October, the pictures, mementos, and raw emotions come out. This is the triage aboard the ship. Sandra Norman's son, Kevin Rux, and 16 other sailors died in the suicide bombing of the USS Cole as it refueled in Yemen. And there it was, that ship with that ugly hole shining through. It was just devastating. And I hurt so much for those ones that they knew were gone. But I tried to have hope that Kevin was still alive. And Chapman came and told us that they had found Kevin's body. It was hard enough seeing that, hearing that. But watching his four brothers break up and see what it did to them. That was very difficult also. Abid al-Rahim al-Nashiri, the man accused of planning the attack, remains imprisoned at Guantanamo Bay. He faces the death penalty but has yet to go on trial. We've had five parents who have died without seeing justice. We just need to get this trial going. Saunders has traveled to Guantanamo Bay for pretrial hearings half a dozen times as a series of defense attorneys has argued that the evidence against al-Nashiri is based on hearsay and torture. Keeps the wound open. And it just doesn't get any easier. Kevin Rux is buried at the National Cemetery in Taylor County. A monument in Norfolk, Virginia pays tribute to the fallen crew. And this bridge over I-79 at Saltwell Road has been named in Rux's honor. He was a good warrior. He was dedicated. He was where he wanted to be. I'm a very proud mother of him. Now, according to the Defense Department's website, the next pretrial proceedings in the coal attack are scheduled for this December at Guantanamo Bay, but there is still no trial date set.